GMA News and Public Affairs, formerly known as RBS News Department, GMA Radio Television News and GMA Rainbow Satellite News, and commonly GMA News, is the news and public affairs programming division of GMA Network Inc. The division produces news, public affairs, infotainment, and lately, entertainment programs for GMA Network and GMA News TV owned and affiliated television and radio stations in the Philippines, and internationally through GMA Pinoy TV, GMA Life TV and GMA News TV International. GMA News and Public Affairs is currently headed by Marissa Flores and is headquartered at the ground floor of GMA Network Center in Quezon City. History News Division The GMA News Division traces its origin from the Republic Broadcasting System RBS, established by Robert Stewart in 1950. The programming of its flagship AM radio station, DZBB, depended mostly on news reports. The station covered the eruption of Mount Hibok Hibok in 1951 and the election and death of the former Philippine President Ramon Magsaysay. While RBS Channel 7 was established in 1961, it was in the 1970s that GMA became one of the most watched television news source in the country. In 1983, Channel 7 was the first to break the news of Ninoy Aquino. S. Death and later would be the only television station to broadcast his funeral. The channel also became the first station to broadcast the Ramos and Real breakaway that led to the People Power Revolution, also known as EDSA Revolution. In 1998, GMA teamed up with the Philippine Daily Inquirer to produce the coverage of that year's election. GMA News became a pioneer in local television news in many ways. GMA became the first TV network to be fully reporting the news in Filipino language with their late-night newscast GMA Network News in 1999 which was anchored by Mike Enriquez and Vicky Morales. GMA was one of the pioneers of women in broadcast journalism. Tina Monzon Palma, who moved to TV5, later ABS CBN, was one of the first female co anchors when she first presented News at 7, one of the most watched news programs in the 1970s. Helen Vila was the first woman to anchor news in Filipino for GMA Belita in 1986, and Mel Tianco was the first late night sole anchor for Front Page in 1999. During the time of martial law by then-President Ferdinand Marcos, GMA was the first to broadcast an hourly news bulletin program. GMA News Roundup aired from 1974 to 1976. The program was later replaced by GMA News Digest in 1976, GMA News Live in 1987, GMA Flash Report in 2002, and most recently, GMA News Update in 2016. The station was also the first to use a ticker for breaking news and traffic information. In 1995, GMA News was the first to use electronic news gathering vans in the country. In 2004, it regularly began to use satellite news gathering facilities to reach more remote areas. GMA News also covered major events in the country such as the World Youth Day 1995, 2000 Today and 2003 World Meeting of Families. In 2006, GMA News was praised by the former president Gloria Macapagal Arroyo for its news coverage, and said that it was the reason for the network's high ratings. In the 2006 SWS Media Trust Survey, GMA News garnered 60% of public trust, second only to rival ABS-CBN with 68%. But a similar Pulse Asia survey shows that GMA News is the more credible in the country and to key demographics. One. Public Affairs Division GMA's Public Affairs Division was established in 1987 when Tina Monzon Palma, then head of GMA News, recognized that a 30-minute newscast was not adequate and sufficient to inform the general Filipino public on what is happening to the recently established Aquino government after the historic People Power Revolution in February 1986. 
The Public Affairs Division started with five news personnel including Marissa Latore Flores now handles GMA News and Public Affairs as Senior Vice President and held office inside the cameraman's locker room before moving into the state-of-the-art GMA Network Center with no experience, equipment, camera and an improvised set broadcasting at the old GMA building in EDSA with only a passion to work attitude. Now with more than 500 news personnel here and abroad, and producing 16 of the most awarded programs on Philippine television today. Weekend with Velez was the first network-produced public affairs program on GMA, afterward renamed to Velez This Week and was hosted by José Mari Velez. Later that year it was joined by other public affairs shows such as Firing Line with Teddy Beningo, later on hosted by Oscar Orbos, Viewpoint with Dong Kuno, Straight from the Shoulder hosted by Louis Beltran and the Probe Team by Che Che Lazaro and Issues and Answers hosted by Art Borgel. From a makeshift and improvised set, the once GMA News garnered several honors and recognitions from local and international award-giving bodies, including two gold medals in the New York Festivals and their first Peabody Award in 1999, one of the most distinguished merits in the broadcast industry, the only one awarded to an Asian country. The first Peabody was given for Kidney for Sale, an investigative work on the selling of kidneys in a depressed area along the coast of Manila Bay. The award also recognizes Marissa Flores as the executive producer and a team of producers, writers, directors and reporters, as well as Jessica Soho, Michelle Siva Recto, Jay Tarek, Leogarda Sanchez and Raul Cornejo, Melcher Quintos and Greg Gonzalez. When the Philippine longest-running noontime show, Eat Bulaga, celebrated its silver anniversary in 2004, Public Affairs co-produced Eat Bulaga, silver special with the noontime program's production company, Tape Inc. Arnold Clavio hosted the program with his fellow Unang Hurat host Ria Santos. Clavio was a contestant in a former segment of the noontime show. Coinciding with its 20th anniversary in broadcasting excellence, GMA News and Public Affairs aired a documentary entitled 20, Dalawampung Tayan ng GMA Public Affairs, 20, 20 Years of GMA Public Affairs, on October 28, 2007. Accolades GMA Network's then-flagship newscast, Saxi, won the 1999 Asian Television Awards and 2002 New York Festival Awards for Best Newscast. In 1999, George Foster Peabody Award recognized the documentaries, Kidneys for Sale, and Kamau, by Jessica Soho and the Eyewitness Team and Jay Tarek's child labor story on Brig de Siete. On December 9, 2003 the Philippine House of Representatives 12th Congress commended GMA News and Public Affairs through Resolution 787 authored by Rep. Rodolfo Plaza for its efforts in uplifting the standards of the Philippine broadcast industry by receiving the first Peabody Award for Television News awarded to an Asian country in 1999. In 2010, Kara David. SI Witness Documentary, Ambulanciang de PAA, won GMA News and Public Affairs Second Peabody Award. GMA News TV's documentary program Real Times. Solid. Episode received a Peabody Award in 2013. In 2014, Peabody Awards recognized GMA News State of the Nation with Jessica Soho, 24 Oras, Sac C, 24 Oras Weekend and Capuso Mo, Jessica Soho for its coverage of the Super Typhoon Yolanda, Hayan. Programs Currently aired GMA Network GMA News TV Regional Programs Balatang Amianan, GMA Dagupan and GMA Ilocos Balatang Bistak GMA Cebu Biaang DO30, GMA Davao, GMA Northern Mindanao and GMA General Santos one Mindanao, GMA Davao, GMA Northern Mindanao and GMA General Santos One Western Visayas, GMA Iloilo and GMA Bacolod Online
Adulting with Adam Araulo, YouTube. All Access with Joyce Pring, YouTube. EXB Rules, YouTube. Fact or Fake with Joseph Morong, YouTube. At Gmanews hashtag TweetCap, Twitter. Hashtag GM a Newsfeed, Facebook. Hashtag Goals with Gabby Garcia, YouTube. Taste MNL with Ara San Agustin, YouTube. The Bube and Tecla Show, YouTube. Thousand Air with Reese Tuazin, YouTube. Defunct programs. Defunct regional newscasts. 24 Oras Amianan, GMA Dagupan, reverted to Balatang Amianan. 24 Oras Bacol, GMA Bicol. 24 Oras Central Visayas, GMA 7 Cebu, reverted to Balatang Bistak. 24 Oras Davao, GMA Davao. 24 Oras Ilocano, GMA Ilocos. 24 Oras North Central Luzon, GMA 10 Dagupan. 24 Oras Northern Mindanao, GMA 12 and 35 Cagayan de Oro. 24 Oras Southern Mindanao, GMA Davao. 24 Oras Western Visayas, GMA Iloilo. Balatang Ilocano, GMA 5 Luwag and 48 Ilocos Sur, Abra. Baratang Bacol, GMA 7 Naga and 12 Legazpi. Ratsada, GMA 6 Iloilo. Ratsada 24 Oras, GMA Iloilo. Tastiga, GMA 5 Davao. Tastiga Northern Mindanao, GMA 12 and 35 Cagayan de Oro. Defunct Regional Public Affairs Shows Arancada, GMA Iloilo and GMA Bacolod. Buena Mano Balita, GMA Cebu. ISYU Nagayon. ISYU Karen Soxsargan, GMA 8, General Santos. ISYU Karen Southern Mindanao, GMA 5 Davao. ISYU Karen Northern Mindanao, GMA 12 and 35 Cagayan de Oro. ISYU Karen Central Visayas, GMA 7 Cebu. ISYU Mindanao, GMA Davao, GMA Northern Mindanao and GMA General Santos. ISYU Nagayon North Central Luzon, GMA 10 Dagupan. ISYU Ingonian Bicolandia, GMA 7 Naga and 12 Legazpi. ISYU Subong Alongo, GMA 6 Iloilo. ISYU Subong Negrens, GMA 13 and 30 Bacolod. ISYU UG Istoria, GMA Davao, GMA Northern Mindanao and GMA General Santos. Primera Balita, GMA Dagupan. Una Ka Bai, GMA Davao. References External links Official website Official website of GMA News Uscoop